What's going on, my hungry, hungry humans? We are at home with the Hungry Road today. This is gonna be something a little different. I'm gonna be cooking for y'all. So the plan was, I was gonna go to Buffalo Wild Wings and grab some of their new flavors and film a video on them. But then I went to ShopRite because I needed some eggs for breakfast this morning. And I saw wing prices were reasonable. $2.99 a pound for the, the whole wing. So you get the drum, the flat, and a little extra piece on what it's called. So I said, yeah, I can just film a video on making wings. So today I'm gonna be air frying some wings for you. It's gonna be a little healthier than the traditional frying. It's still a wing with fat and stuff. But don't worry about it, let's get started. All right, guys, here are the wings here from Bowl and Baskets, a ShopRite company. They're a little wet because I was, you know, it was raining here in Yonkers. And I just didn't use a bag, you know, save plastic. Oh, you can't see the price because it's upside down. But here we go. $2.99 a pound, five pounds, $15.19. They expire November 4th, 2021. So this, you know, this is recent. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean these off. And then I gotta cut the, whatever this piece is off. Cause what I'm going to do is cook them. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna cut this piece off and we'll get started. All right, so the second step after rinsing and washing the wings off is gonna be to cut them. You want them to look like this, the drumettes, the flats, and this little extra piece there if you really wanna eat that. So this is the outside of the wing, what I call the outside. This is the inside here. Put the wing face down or outside down. I see this is a 90 degree angle right here. Grab my very sharp knife and just kind of let it slide through. You're gonna feel the bone right there. There's gonna be like a little indentation to the left, like kind of like right here. And this kind of slides through gently. Okay, separates this part of the wing. And now I'll do the same thing here. I kind of feel the bone here. Kind of gets a little more fatty right there. Gonna aim for that and kind of just slice right through it. This could be a lengthy process if you have a whole lot of wings to cook like I do. And all right, here cracking. Add some extra pressure if you need to. All right, slice right through. So do that for all your wings. And then we can move on to the next step, which is gonna be brining. So as you can see, I've cut up my wings here, my flats and my drums. I don't need to separate them or anything. Toss the old parts here, I'm not going to eat them. But you want them like this because you need the whole wing to be exposed uh, so you can get that crispiness when I do throw them in the air fryer. But we're gonna brine them first and brining is going to allow any of the seasonings and, and flavors that you have during the brine to seep into the meat. So it's gonna be inside the food while you're cooking it. Then you can add more flavor to the outside an age old technique. So let's get to the brining process here. So to get my brine going, I'm going to have two pots here. I have a lot of wings, but I have two pots. So you wanna fill them in with cold water, about halfway to five eighths of the way up. Then I have salt, I have ground thyme, you can use fresh thyme as well, ground pepper or peppercorns, red pepper, and a little bit of sugar. So, let's just delicately drop these things into the pots because you want the water to rise from cold to warm. You want to see these things sort of dissolve. Uh, the salt and the sugar will dissolve. Some of the other things will not. But you don't want to cook the food. That's the issue. You want just the water to get warm enough that these products dissolve. So let's get in here with a little bit of salt and about a half tablespoon. Just depends on how many wings you're making. This, the point is just to get some of the stuff into the water so that the wings can absorb it while they're in the brine for anywhere from two to 24 hours. A little pepper, nothing crazy. I also forgot to mention apple cider vinegar here. There it is. Drop a little bit of that in there. You'd be very delicate with that, but this is strong stuff. Here's the thyme coming in. And second to last, the red pepper. I'm gonna be heavy with this, but I like my food spicy. We haven't even gotten to the spices yet. A 
and the sugar. I don't have a spoon. Let me go get one and not bring one over here. Last but not least is the sugar here. Just gonna be very gentle with this. Just maybe half a teaspoon, not even that. So probably about that much. Dump that into the water. There you go. Oh. And that's it. So what you're gonna do is watch your brine. Periodically stir it. You don't want the water to get super hot. See, touch the water. Yeah, that one's getting warm already. So we're gonna turn off the heat there and just stir until I see some of these things dissolve, which is already happening over here. Do the same over here. I can remove it from the heat now. Once you start seeing some of your products dissolve into the water, it's okay to kill the heat because now the, the water has absorbed the salt and the sugar and some of these other products and your wing is gonna do the same thing as it sits in the brine for, again, two to 24 hours. All right, fast forward to the future. This one has cooled down enough. I can see most of my products have dissolved. There's still some, the peppers and the thyme, stuff is not going to dissolve, uh, are still floating around the top. That's fine. We're just gonna drop the wings in here. Remember to kill the heat. And you're just gonna drop them in here. As many as you can get in here. Well, it turns out I didn't even need the other pot because <laughs> they all fit in the big one. So once I get the wings into the brine, they go straight in the fridge. Post days. So I have my good looking brine here. The next step is gonna be to pat the wings dry. So I'm just gonna move this off to the side over here. Grab me a paper towel. You need a lot of these. And you just gotta get the wings dry because you don't want a whole bunch of water on the skin of the wing when you cook them because that will too much moisture will prevent the wing from getting crispy. So I'm just gonna do the rest of these and then uh, <laughs> I'll check back in with you. So I've patted my wings completely dry. There's no little bit of moisture on the outside but not like any actual water droplets. So the next step here is gonna be to put the wings into your spinner and you coat them with oil and the seasons you're going to be using. So I have three different piles here because I have three different seasonings. First up, it's going to be eating this dry rub seasoning I got from in Jamaica. Not bad, good stuff. Second, going to be a lemon pepper. These are going to be separate seasoning. I'm going to put them in the same bowl, separate seasonings. And last but not least, my friend from high school, Chef V Cakes Cajun Seasoning. This is fantastic. I'll put a link in the description below so you can find out how to get some of this stuff. It is amazing. I bought three of these sizes a little while ago. I think I'm down to my last one. I got to check the cabinet again. So let's begin. I'm gonna put a few wings into the bowl. After your wings are nice and coated, the next step is gonna be to get your air fried or 400 degrees. You wanna preheat it for at least two minutes. Once your air fryer has been running for about two to four minutes, it should be nice and preheated. Go ahead and pause it, open your lid, and put your wings in. Make sure they're not touching. Once they're inside, you can hear that sizzle already, very hot. You don't want them to touch, but get them all in here. I have a Ninja Foodie, I think it's an 11 or something like that. It's a decent amount of space in here. Hope we can get them all in here. The first batch at least, the first flavor, the Jamaican jerk. Yeah, it's totally possible to get them all in here. Let's scoot these little guys over. Boom. And I have a little touchy touchy there. And we're good. Go ahead and close it. Restart the timer. Air crisp, 400 degrees. And we're gonna go for 10 minutes. Once your first 10 minutes is up, go ahead and open the lid. You will need to change your tongs because you're now handling cooked food. You don't want to get the raw with the cooked mixed up. So we're going to flip these guys over. And my wings are a little bigger, so I'm going to give it a little bit more time. 
Usually the recipe calls for eight minutes. I might give it 10 to 12, because these are pretty big wings. It did say jumbo on the pack, but we're good. They're all flipped over. Let's go ahead and shut the lid. Go ahead and run the air crisp again at the 400 degrees. And again, like I said, I'm gonna do 12 minutes. And we'll see what happens in 12 minutes. All right, time is up. Let's see how we did. Open this lid here. All that crackling. Let's check it out. Got this little flat here. Yeah, look at that. I'll get a better shot later. But there you have it. Repeat these steps for the other sauces. And you got some great at home, grind, crispy, juicy, tender chicken wings. So I've let the wings rest for about five minutes because they come straight out the fryer. You don't want 400 degrees in your mouth. But I'm gonna grab you a little flat here. It's what I do best. Check it out. Oh my goodness, that skin is so crispy. You put the food down, two hand in this joint. Mmm. Look at that steam. This is why you don't want it straight out the fryer. Crispy, tender, delicious. These are good. So good luck making yours. I'm gonna try the other two flavors when they're done. I do have the lemon pepper cooking right now. It takes a little while because the air fryer is so small and you can only put so many in there at a time. Next up, we have the lemon pepper wing. This is guy right here. Nice, crispy skin, I can see it. Let's give it to the old Donnie the Cleaner. Oh, oh, oh hot. Who needs wing stop? But you can do this at home. You get a lot more wings, a lot cheaper. Mmm. That lemon pepper is so good. Last but not least is my homie seasoning, Chef V Cakes. Make sure you go hit up the link in the description. Check out her products. Incredible seasonings. She cooks dinners. If you're in the Michigan area, make sure you link with her. Her food is unpassable, un whatever. You have to try it. But we do have the Cajun wing right here. Let's go ahead and give it a royal. So crispy. Oh. The steam still. There's no words. Mmm. Mmm. A hint of spice. Good salt. Good smokiness in there. Got to scratch my ear. I don't know what's going on. Oh, man. But anyway, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of At Home with the Hungry Road. Remember to like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more where this came from, maybe. Let me know in the description if you actually like these videos. Maybe I should start hosting some cooking videos. I do a good lasagna. I gotta do it with bacon though. That's a team effort. <laughs> I do a good salmon, a bunch of different things. But anyway guys, stay safe.